Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're diving into some more cool mods for Cyberpunk 2077. Whether you're looking to enhance your gameplay, change up the atmosphere, or just get some sleek new vehicles. These mods are sure to take your Night City experience to the next level. And hey, if you're new here or haven't seen my previous mod videos, make sure to check those out too for even more modding goodness. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We'll start off with a game changer, Auto Drive. This mod allows your car to drive itself, giving you time to sit back and take in the sights of Night City. It's especially great for when you just want to relax or take a breather after completing a mission. Autodrive handles all the hard work of navigating the city streets, leaving you free to admire the detailed cityscape. There's also a really cool feature where you can sit in the passenger seat while your car drives. But for this, you'll need to download the optional file from the mod page, and it's definitely worth it. It adds so much immersion when you feel like you're just another person in Night City, rather than always being behind the wheel. If you're using traffic mods that add some cars to the streets, Autodrive has another optional file that helps the mod handle increased traffic without issues. This ensures the mod works smoothly even with a denser traffic, reducing crashes and preventing your car from driving like a maniac. So if you've got a more populated version of Night City, this file is a must-have to keep your driving experience as smooth as possible, or your passengering experience. But anyway, next we have Smooth Movement, which tweaks the character animations to make everything feel more fluid. While the vanilla movement can sometimes feel a bit clunky, this mod smoothens things out, giving you a more natural, responsive experience. Whether you're walking through the streets or sprinting during an intense chase, you'll feel a noticeable difference in how your character moves through the world. It's one of those subtle changes that makes the game feel more immersive and satisfying. If you're a fan of tweaking visuals, you're going to love Evo Lot. This mod is a color grading overhaul that gives Night City a more cinematic feel, enhancing the contrast and shadows without tanking your FPS. It's perfect if you're looking for a fresh visual experience without overhauling the entire game or using freaking reshade because that kind of sucks for the most part with this game. The deeper blacks and vivid neon highlights will make every scene in Night City pop, from the towering skyscrapers to the gritty alleys. Evo Lut brings a whole new layer of atmosphere to Cyberpunk 2077. I highly recommend this one if you enjoy visually stunning gameplay. Tomb Weather adds dynamic weather patterns to Night City. This introduces a variety of other cool looking weather effects. And I don't know, when I installed this mod, everything just looked way cooler. Plus the moon, well, it's massive now, and that looks really cool. Pair it with Evo Lut for an even more dramatic change in how Night City looks and feels. But yeah, it just feel, it feels a lot more immersive and cool. I enjoyed just looking around again, you know? I've installed other Lut mods, and the Nova one was another one that I liked. But this one feels, well, really fresh to me, and I like it. But yeah, moving on. Loot Icons Extension is one of those quality of life mods You'll wonder how you lived without. It improves the looting system by adding more detailed icons to the items you come across. Instead of squinting at tiny icons or guessing whether something is worth picking up, this mod provides clearer visuals that will help you identify valuable loot instantly. For someone who loves to loot everything in sight, this will save you so much time. You can quickly distinguish between junk and valuable items, making it easier to keep your inventory organized. It's really just a very nice, cleaner, user interface kind of thing, you know? Moving on, here's a small but impactful tweak. No camera auto centering. By default, the camera snaps back to the center when you drive or move around, which can be frustrating if you want more freedom to look around, even if it's just a few more seconds, which, which as, as far as my understanding is, it adds this setting to the game and it allows you to make it go up to 10 seconds rather than two. I don't actually know, I can't confirm this at the moment, but that's my understanding. Either way, it makes the driving much cooler. It doesn't instantly snap back. It's pfft, that crap's annoying, man. But yeah, now you can look around freely without constantly being pulled back to the centered view. Whether you're cruising around or in the middle of a high speed chase, this mod gives you a lot more control of your perspective. Now let's talk weapons. The, Lobot the Lobotomy EGO Magic Bullet mod introduces a weapon that isn't just about raw power. It brings a unique edge to your arsenal with some neat bullet piercing capabilities. The Magic Bullet is part of the Lobotomy EGO weapon pack, and it's designed to pierce through enemies, making it incredibly effective for taking out multiple targets in a row. Although it doesn't feel like it does a lot of damage, it just mainly looks really cool. It's probably more for those who love the world it's inspired from, but it is really nice. But we shall be moving on. Sometimes it's the little details that makes a game truly immersive. And that's where the Lean Anywhere and Sit Anywhere mods come in. These mods let you interact with your environment more naturally by allowing you to lean against walls or sit down anywhere in the game world. You can also lean against railings and you can sit in all the seats. Sit anywhere where you would sit in real life, basically. These don't add new missions or weapons, but they let you take a breather, soak in the surroundings or just roleplay a little more deeply in Night City. If you're someone who loves immersion, these mods are simple, but powerful. Next up is artistic. V can now choose, display, or enjoy art in their apartments. So basically, in each apartment, you now have a frame that has artwork, and it's cool. So when you've installed this mod, you just head to the uh, the default apartment that V has to start with, 
and you'll get a quest that is to check your phone and read this text message. And then from then on, you can basically just go to any apartment you have and then there will be a designated area where you can display art. You start off with a few art pieces, but there is quests to find other art pieces. The art's pretty cool and it's a really nice uh, little immersive thing you can add to your apartments. You can turn it off just like a TV screen or you can switch the art around and it's really nice. I quite like it a lot. Players will start off with three art pieces, the CDPR Life Path pieces. V also starts off with a fourth piece that is gifted based on their life path. There's also a channel that loops through all the tarot pieces that V has found and scanned so far, including those from Phantom Liberty. And yeah, other pieces can be found in various ways such as quests, and then some text messages, like from messages V has sent to certain characters, stores and shops, so you can obtain them from various vendors. And some can be just found on display, like there's one around the entrance of Jig Jig Street, for example. But yeah, great mod, very cool. Now let's talk vehicles. First up, we've got two new additions to Night City's car culture, the Jaguar XJ13 and the Mazda RX 7FD. The Jaguar XJ13 is a sleek vintage ride with power and elegance, perfect for those who love to drive in style. It has a retro futuristic vibe that fits right into Cyberpunk's world. Then there's the Mazda RX 7 FD, a 90s icon that brings back the golden age of street racing. It's a great ride for tearing through the streets of Night City with that no nostalgic feel. And also it works basically like that ramp car from GTA 5, kind of, a little bit. It like, you drive under cars and it pushes them behind you, it's cool. It also does it to civilians. Um, if you can catch them, they run pretty fast now. Now for the BMW R9T bike. This mod is where customization really, really shines. The BMW R9T lets you personalize every aspect of the paint job. It's if you install the other mod, I didn't do it myself. I was lazy. It's a highly responsive bike. And if you're into speed, agility, and fine tuning your ride, this one is for you. You'll be weaving through night city traffic with ease, or you'll be doing this. I, I have no idea. I think, I don't know if this is the bike mod or, um, some other mod irons. I don't know. I think it's just a bike. It's cool. I don't think that's a bug. I think that's a cool feature. Don't take that out. It's, it's nice. Look how fun it is, man. You do tricks on it. Yeah, the front wheel gl glitches into the ground a bit, but we don't care. We like doing this. Whatever it is, I like doing it. It's cool. It's like a trick bike, but buggy. <laughs> And there you have it, some more cool mods to enhance your Cyberpunk 2077 experience. Whether you're looking to tweak the visuals, add new features, or cruise around in style. This is style, by the way. These mods offer something for everyone. Make sure to leave a comment down below on which mod you're most excited to try. Please be the bike one and do that because it's fun. <laughs> and if you haven't already, check out my previous mod videos for even more recommendations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.